My name is John McKeon, and I'm the moderator of the Teradata Primo River community, Teradata and Primo's largest customer community. You can connect with us at teradatariver2.com. Today, we'd like to welcome Greg Gagner, technical analyst for GE Healthcare. Greg, welcome to the river. Thank you very much. Greg will be presenting this year at the Partners Conference on Manufacturing Intelligence at GE Healthcare. GE Healthcare is an enormous organization, 46,000 people, and they do business all over the world. So because of the complexity of the business, the data is complex. Greg, in such a large organization, and particularly globally, You've got to have a lot of data silos. How do you address that from a reporting issue? Well, that's really what we're trying to solve here. We have some pretty sophisticated stovepipe type of reporting solutions that we're trying to normalize and develop into solutions where one tool can be used across multiple businesses and multiple situations. So our focus is to meet everybody's requirements, but to be able to get access to the data and bring all the data together in a common repository. So, Greg, what are the technical roadblocks for actually dealing with such a geographically dispersed organization? Our first technical roadblocks is the number of different processes we have because we make everything from blood pressure cups to MR machines. The data is, there's a large variety in it, and we end up with lots of different types of data. Some data comes very fast, some comes very slow, some are images, so we need a system that can handle all this and a, in the process to be able to add new test sets, for example, to the system with the correct amount of weight and testing in there. So we are a highly regulated environment, and so we have to meet those requirements. But just the overhead of maintaining such a variable uh, set of data sources. And also, GE Healthcare, it's, it's a very heavily regulated environment. So how do you address the controls from a regulation standpoint? Well, we have pretty strict procedures and processes that we adhere to. And these processes actually just help you make good IT decisions. And so we definitely document not only our requirements, but our testing, like every medical device manufacturer. And you have to uh, embrace the requirements and understand what they're trying to do to ensure that you not only meet them, but that you really develop processes that support the regulatory requirements. So beyond that, I think you decided to do a POC with Teradata. How did that go? I think it was in database SQL analytics and also Tableau. It went pretty well. We took a piece of our uh, device history record database and we gave it to Teradata. And we wanted to see if the MLDM could be configured fairly quickly to handle this information. We didn't give them a lot of help. We were in the middle of a major project at the time. And we let them just kind of figure it out, and it was pretty good. And I was impressed, and it got us to trying to get to the next step here. What about in-database statistical process control? How did that work? We were able to turn it on, and that was what I was really interested in, was how hard would it be to turn it on, and could it work, and would it see changes in the data and put out events and things like that. And that worked. In some of this, we're in the infancy. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of different characteristics. So some sites, some characteristics are very defined, and we know exactly where they should be. Other characteristics are less critical, and we're just developing the statistical requirements for those. With all the new products we consistently have, we need to uh, have a system that without too much overhead that we can have the end users as much as possible maintain their settings and things for SPC. Well, Greg, you're clearly in the big data area, particularly with all your supply chain requirements. How is that going to work relative to the architectural direction using Aster data? Well, our plan with Aster data is to be able to have regional devices. That's going to eliminate a lot of the technical issues with loading data, and especially loading significant amounts of data into the database. We have unstructured data, and we will uh, use the Hadoop functions of Aster data to first put the unstructured data in, and then we'll put a mask over the top of it and pull out the structured data into the Aster data for classical engineering analysis for tools like Tableau, although we'll look at using other tools also. So we're definitely going to separate how we're storing the data with how we're going to view the data, and it's going to be an interesting challenge. 
How does the Teradata Aster solution align with your BI strategy? Well, for the business, repository is classic Teradata. And Aster Data will work seamlessly with Teradata. And so we'll be able to start reports that are primary Aster Data information. Let's say it's manufacturing test information. But we might also want to know how many sales orders do we have for that product, for example. So we could go into the Teradata database and we'll pull that out. And we might actually want to see the picture of the test results that we took during the test. And so we maybe we'll have a button that they push and they can actually see the the image coming from the Hadoop portion of Aster. Greg Gagner, technical analyst for GE Healthcare, should be a great presentation on manufacturing intelligence at GE Healthcare. Greg, we look forward to seeing you at Partners. Thanks very much, and I'm looking forward to this, and hopefully we'll have a very good discussion, and we'll further our cause and further your cause.